Life is different as a witch. Especially after the Salem witch trials. Connecting with nature nourishes the soul. And as a society, we've really lost our way with this. As my mama used to say, a good potion keeps the world in motion. I'm great at cooking the books. FBI, watch this. I'm fiscally conservative, socially liberal, and I never break the law. Black girl magic? And this black girl is the magicalist of them all. And when I'm not wearing my black hat, I wear my white one. I live to serve Griselda. What would I be without her? Our High Priestess Griselda has been coven leader since the 17th century. She's currently taking a bath. For 24 years. According to my mom, this is her longest bath yet. I mean, we all love a good bath, but how do we know she didn't just Whitney Houston it? Well, time will tell. Well, uh, I'm new here. Uh, this was the closest coven to my school, so I transferred. 24 years does seem like a long time, but... <laughs> There's no need for concern. She'll be ready on the full moon she's ready on. No, I know. I know, it's so crazy. I, I, I totally. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, I know. It's, it's wild. My main focus is community gardens and greenhouses for low-income neighborhoods. Many of the ethnics come from agrarian societies, so a garden is the perfect place for them to reconnect to their heritage. It's empowering. This is from last year's Potions Masters Finals. I originally did win seventh, but now I'm third. <sighs> a couple ahead of me, well, they keep dropping dead of natural causes. <laughs> this year, the competition is in Belarus. This is my husband, Albert. <laughs> well, it used to be. It was an accident. <laughs> Who's a handsome husband? Who loves their wife? Oh, you're so cute when you can't talk. Our relationship has grown so much closer now that you're a cat. <laughs> It's like talking to me. Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Very hard accounting here, figuring out all the bills. Do you ever notice what beautiful eyes Albert has? He was a handsome man once. Oh, it's a full moon this weekend. Like the one? And another full moon she's missed. We must wait. I think we should vote. I mean, I've been essentially running this entire coven and I just feel like it's only fair. She won't be much longer. Okay, well, frankly, you've said that before and I just don't feel like she's... Um, it's time! <laughs> <laughs>
somebody call the Vatican and let them know I'm four to one against Jesus in this little game of resurrection re-election. But first, my darling witches. Where, where was I? Oh yes, but first a celebratory drink. Y'all, she's fun. <laughs> well, she finally did it. Griselda is the best. She's an icon. Who's the baddest witch? Who's your favorite witch? Do you love me? Do you love me? I like you way better as a cat. I think that men should be obsolete. We'll just have cats. Are you listening? Are you, li do you wanna be here right now? Albert, Albert! You are so rude. You're rude. <sighs> men, cats, they're all the same. <laughs> It's been three weeks, so today we are finally setting our mandate. <laughs> mandate? Griselda never had a mandate. She's more of the, the spur of the moment type woman. Mandate? Well, my last coven's focus was on honoring the earth spirit, so plant care, self care, study group. So I hope for more of the same. The only mandate I care about is my participation in the potions masters. I'm gonna slay the competition. Oh, not like that. <laughs> Which way did you think I meant? <laughs> I'm just gonna win. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill anybody. <laughs> I'm here for one thing and one thing only, preserving this beautiful vessel. I'm also a chaos witch, so a drop of that in the pot as well. Whatever Griselda wants. I want. So nice of you to join us. You went to the underworld. Yeah, it was so chic and fun. Furfur had this amazing rave. He's really evolved as a demon now that he does disassociative drugs and listens to EDM. That's really pleasant. Can we get started? Yeah, let's grab a bottle of red. Isn't a little early? Oh uh, yeah, because red puts you to bed. I'll take a breakfast cocktail, a double tequila sunrise margarita. Does anyone else want a drink? Um, I love a mimosa. Lucille. What, it's a breakfast beverage. I just think we should be sober. <laughs> Over. Um, okay, a water. Okay, let's get started. Right. Okay, well, I have prepared the following document to keep you all up to date on worldly events. That looks like an epic. Well, you told me to be thorough. Cole's notes. I think you should read it. Mm, no, I'm not gonna read it. Amber will read it. No, 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 no. I think you should read it. Why would I read it? Because you're the high priestess. So, how are you gonna guide this coven into the next era if you don't even have a thorough understanding of the recent past? And how am I gonna guide the coven if I'm buried under a stack of papers? High priestesses don't read, they feel, they experience, they talk to animals and spirits and demons and gods and goddesses, they don't read. More like drinks with, they just party. All she does is party. I'd party too if I'd been napping or whatever for all them years. You really are a cunt like your grandmama. <gasps> oh my heavens. Excuse me?
I'm high priestess. You're certainly okay, like, high. Okay, <laughs> which is, now let's not. Okay. No, no, no. I believe she has something to say. Speak your mind. Because if you do, you should speak your mind. I think you have a drinking problem. I think you and Amber have a drinking problem. I don't think anyone would say that. If anything, it's kept me level-headed. Oh, yeah? About what? <laughs> Amber has baby ankles. I'm baby. She's a klutz. Okay, what about when you... Doesn't sound like me. What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Our drinking game. Mm, would we though? Personally, I find this. Com I find this attack completely out of line. See, you can't even finish a sentence without throwing up. You try resurrecting yourself and see how much bile you'll be throwing up. Okay, I just. I just don't think that our high priestess <laughs> should be conducting herself in such a deplorable manner. Deplorable? Sweetie, you haven't seen deplorable. <sighs> How about a vote? A vote? Yeah. How many people think that our high priestess should be doing a little less partying and a little more covening? Oh my god. Fine. What are you proposing? No more drinking. No more drugs. No more partying with demons. <sighs> What about my wine tasting with Malak tonight? No. Malak isn't one for last minute cancellation. No, no, no. Sober coven business only. This is preposterous. <sighs> but we all voted. Fine. So mote it be. <sighs> well? That went surprisingly well. I don't think we should encourage her to be sober. Why? Well, um... What is so bad about being sober? It's just that she's a... a, a, a different sober. What do you mean different? Well, it's just... Uh, less fun. <laughs> As above, so below, and ready to conquer. You have to see this. A million views in three hours? Ah, viral. Just like when she had syphilis. That's bacterial. And today I come graciously with the message that an inferno of darkness shall descend upon your lands, consuming you body and soul.